Welcome back to my channel, y'all. This is going to be episode four recap slash review of Black Lightning. And the episode starts off with Jefferson walking into the school. And this episode is entitled um, Black Jesus. He goes into the bathroom and Bernard is on the green light. And he's so like strung out on it that he looks like he's about to attack Jefferson. So Jefferson has to knock him out twice with his powers and then he finds the drug on him and he sticks it in his coat pocket before anybody comes in. Another guy com comes in and asks him, is everything okay? And he says, yeah, everything's fine. We see Anessa on her way to school and she passes a convenience store where she sees two of her students and they look like they're about to buy some drugs. So she goes and pulls into the convenience store parking lot and she gets out of the car and she tells them to get in the car, we're going to school, and she tells the drug dealers like, stay away from my students. They call her the B word before she gets in the car and she turns around, she says, what did you say? And they say, you heard me. So then she gets in the car and she kind of smirks to herself because you know, she has these newfound powers so she gonna come back later and handle them. We see Jefferson and he's talking to Gambia about his drugged up student and he says that he feels like they're losing the battle for the city. Jefferson says that he knows a lot of the street level drug dealers but none of the higher ups and Gamby says that he'll reach out to his people. Now I already got my eye on Gamby because I already don't like what he did in the last episode so we gotta watch him. The next thing we see is Black Lightning and he's out for the night and he is talking to a drug dealer trying to get information out of him and the drug deal is not telling him what he needs to know and then he finally says okay the person that i get my supply from is his name is two bits he asks the kid well where can i find two bits and he tells him like some little billards club slash club place i guess a spot that he used to know then he knocks him out and that's the end of that scene then we see lady e and i do not know what she was doing in this scene and it looks like she's cooking something in a person's body and we can tell that the person is still alive i don't know it looks really nasty if y'all know what she was doing let me know because she has this long stick and she's you know putting it inside his body and i think that was a he but he had long hair i'm not sure y'all let me know she tells him that some people in africa considered albinos magic and they used to hunt albinos and crush their bones and sell it as magic to um, other people and he says that he knows that story and so then they go into business and she says that basically she says that she feels like he lied on his resume because he didn't kill black lightning and he's also making her look bad because he also shot a pastor and he shot Khalil and they were talking about how Khalil was going to go to the Olympics and then t um, Tobias says well he's not going to the Olympics and she's like of course he's not now but you need to hurry up go ahead and take care of black lightning before um my men turn you into dust the next thing we come to is jefferson in his office with bernard and his, and his father basically he's telling bernard that he's happy he's okay and you know he's back at school and he really gave him a scare in the bathroom when he was on the drug everything's going well and then his father says that he got a letter from the board saying that bernard would be expelled and he says, no, Bernard's not going to be expelled. The only place he's going is to college. And he says, the last thing that I need you to tell me is where um, you got the drug from. At first, Bernard didn't want to tell him. His father made him go ahead and tell the principal where he got it from. And he said he got it from this guy in the neighborhood um, named Ronald Wright and that the first taste was free. After Bernard and his father leave, the vice principal comes in and she's like, they're not going to let you keep Bernard at the school and he says the bylaws clearly state that it's my decision to decide um who gets expelled and i guess who doesn't sometimes her attitude is like she doesn't want the best for the students at times and then he even accuses her of caring more about the board than the students and she says i do care about the students they get into a little argument and she says to tell or he tells her to go tell the board something and she says i'm the vice principal not the secretary so you, if you have something to tell the board you can tell them yourself and it seems like one day she's up and the next day she's down like her attitude is all over the place like one day she likes and one day she doesn't jefferson calls gamby to let him know that his student got the drugs from a guy named ronald wright and gamby lets him know that he's looking at the body of ronald wright right now 
it's a sad day when drug dealers are old in and he didn't follow the classic rule of you shouldn't get high off your own supply jefferson tells gamby that he also found out about another drug dealer and his name is two bits and he's like two bits and then gamby starts laughing and then jefferson says well i grew up with two bits he was a little bit younger than me but um you know i used to know him so the next scene is jennifer at the hospital with khalil and he is doing his physical therapy for the day and then the nurses like take him back in the room and they go outside and um jennifer is still in there but she's about to go out and she hears them overhears them talking about how they shouldn't get his hopes up because his spinal cord was nearly severed and she says what's your problem he can hear you and then she walks back in and she asks Khalil, like, are you okay? And he says, yeah, you know, they don't know me. Basically, like, I'm going to fight through this. And Jennifer gets her stuff and she leaves. And she starts breaking down and crying. The next scene is Tobias. He's at a lab and he meets a scientist there. And this is the person who told him that Black Lightning was dead. Now, I thought when they said that he had killed Black Lightning that he had actually done the deed himself. He hired somebody else to do it. So the scientist said that he saw Black Lightning's body, but he didn't actually see Black Lightning's body. He says, you owe me a death, and he has the other white guy that he's with um, kill him. So that's the end of that scene. And then we go to Jennifer coming home to find her parents waiting for her. And they asked her about where she was. She was supposed to be at track practice. And she says she was with Khalil and he needed her for his physical therapy. And they tell her that she needs to spend more time focusing her, on herself and not Khalil. And so she says that I want to quit the track team. And so her mom's like, well, calm down. You don't want to quit the track team. You're just overreacting right now because you're mad. And she's like, no, I don't really even want to run track. I only was running track because dad wanted me to. And so then she's like, well, you love running. So in the next couple of days, if you think about it and you really still really don't want to do it, then you can go ahead and quit. But let's not make any rash decisions right now. She asks if she can be excused and they tell her, well, her dad says no, but then her mom's like, yeah, go ahead. Okay, the next scene that we see is Anessa and her whole family. They're all around the dinner table and they're having a discussion about Black Lightning and Henderson and his wife are there and Anessa's basically telling them that Black Lightning is doing a better job at protecting the people than Henderson is doing. And so I don't know if Henderson took offense to that, but he's like, he comes back at her with saying that all the collateral damage that Black Lightning is causing, he doesn't care about the people that indirectly get hurt. And then um, Lynn chimes in and she says, well, Black Light, what about Black Lightning's family? And then Anessa says, um, that's not what's important here. What's important here is that his family is probably probably really proud of him for doing what he's doing and somebody needs to do something because all this praying and marching is not helping anybody which is true i mean nothing's really getting done like she feels like you know it's all going downhill which i can kind of see her point all these other people are getting hurt as well like khalil and reverend hope after that she says she needs to excuse herself and jefferson's kind of watching the conversation and before she leaves he asks her is everything okay and she says everything's fine so she goes back to that convenience store where the two guys were trying to sell, I guess, green light to her students. And she um, knocks both of them out. So I guess she wasn't counting on one of them to um, become unconscious. I think she got a little scared and she calls 911 to come to the scene. Jefferson goes to visit Two Bits at um, the Billards Club and... First, he just comes in and he kind of like sits at a table, um, not really trying to be noticed. Of course, Two Bits noticed him because he stuck out like a sore, sore thumb and he asked him, what's he doing down here? You too bougie for this? And he's like, um, you know, man, nothing, just chilling or whatever. And he's like, okay, enough with the small talk. Like, why are you really down here? And he says, one of my students told me that um, he's basically dealing drugs for you and the cops are on to you and they're going to be coming to you soon. And he's like, well, um, what do you want me to do about it? And he's like, well, you could, you could get out of the game now, you know, stop selling drugs basically. And two bits is like, what else am I going to do? So I assume there's not, he doesn't have that many job opportunities. And he's like, um, well, maybe I can help. And he's like, nah, man, I got a family to feed. And he continues 
or he goes back to his table he's like well tell the family i said what's up and so then jefferson leaves and he comes to talk to gamby gamby asks him how did his talk with two bits go he says not well and then gamby also tells him there were 36 overdoses you would think it would be on the news and then jefferson says black kids odin has never been newsworthy gamby also says that the drug green light i guess he took it from jefferson when he brought it he had got a portion of it from his student and um he was like it's pcp plus something else and it attacks your neurons so you need to keep an eye on your student and so that's when jefferson says maybe black lightning should pay two bits a visit so then he goes back to the billets place as black lightning and everybody like runs out of the place. Two bit says if he calls the cops, that'll be his third strike and he'll get 30 years. And he's like, well, you think I deserve 30 years? And he's like, I don't know, you deserve something. And then he's like, but 30 years, man, they putting brothers away like it ain't nothing. Black Lightning tells him that he won't call the police if he stops dealing. Two bits asks for a picture before he gets knocked out. And he's like, no, I'm not about to take a picture with you. And he knocks him out. That was kind of funny. He did get the information that he needed to know from Two Bits, basically where he was getting the supply from, and he told him the location. The next thing we see is Khalil in the hospital bed, and Jennifer's coming to visit him again. And the first thing he tells her is that um, Joan, somebody named Joan Lincoln, wants to interview him, and he he's asking her should he do it. And she tells him, I don't know. I mean, you've been through a lot. And then she also tells him that she quit the track team. Now, he doesn't really have a reaction for her when she tells him that. And she thought, I think she was looking for a reaction and he didn't give her the reaction that she wanted. But then he was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do the interview. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then he's like, we're going to do it together, right? And she was like, yeah. But she's like looking uncertain, like, I don't know if this is going to work out type thing. The next scene is Jefferson, the vice principal and the board mem member. Um, I don't know the board member's name, but they're having a discussion about Bernard and they're saying that he is going to get expelled and the board, you know, that's the board's decision. Now, Jefferson says he doesn't need to get expelled when the board member leaves because the board member basically says you need to give us the information that we need to make an impartial decision. And he's like, I can make the decisions myself. So I don't really think they came to a compromise right there. When the board member leaves the vice principal, um, he's asking the vice principal, like, how do you make these hard decisions? And she's like, the students make the decisions for you because they decide to make bad choices or whatever. And then she's like, you can't save them all. And he's like, if my teachers had that attitude, I would have never made it. She says, well, I appreciate you. So I guess she's in a good mood today. Like I said, she'd be all over the place. I don't, I don't like her. The next thing we see is Tobias's sister and she's riding through the city and she's going to see her brother. We see Tobias and I guess he's in his apartment and he has a rat and he's feeding it to his fish. So when she comes in, she looks over and she's like, oh, that's nasty. And, um, you know, I would have never left Miami for anybody but you. And they embrace. And then she says, now, how are we going to kill Black Lightning? The next thing we see is Black Lightning using his electric vision to see um, all over the city. And he says, man, if I knew you were going to give me x-ray vision, then I would have came out of retirement like five years ago or something like that. And so he's looking around. He's like, I can see everything. And he's like focusing on the warehouse. And Gamby tells him you should be able to see the large containers that they keep the drug in. And so he's looking around and I think he does um, see the large containers. And he says this might not be the 100 because it's in a controlled unit, like a controlled air unit. And they also have people that are watching the um the warehouse like security and whatnot we see a scene of grace and anessa and they're walking out of the club that um grace works at and some men approach them um the first thing though anessa asks her well i'm tired of including my parents in every decision i make something to that uh effect and she's like i can make decisions on my own and then grace tells her you know if i had my parents um here then i would basically include them or tell them what's going on with me while there she really doesn't get a chance to think about that because then um men walk up to grace and she's like talking to them about how she has a restraining order against them the situation isn't really explained 
And then Grace is like, I'm going to call the cops. So she starts to dial 911. They attack her. And then, of course, Nessa has to save um, Grace. And she has to basically beat up those men. And then she takes Grace inside. Now, Jefferson can hear that disturbance or that loud noise. So he's like, well, what's going on? And he feels like he needs to go figure out or go follow the noise and see, like, is there something going on? Does he need to help? And Gamby says, don't leave the scene because, you know, we're going to lose that truck and we don't know where it's going. He's like, well, I, I got to see what's going on. So he goes over there anyway. And um, he asks Gamby to look at the cameras to see if he can see anything. Now, Gamby sits up there and lies again, y'all. Like, how many times is he going to lie to Jefferson? But anyway, um, he lies again. And he says, no, the cameras didn't pick up what, uh, whatever was going on. Now, he saw... I'm not sure if he saw that that was a nest. I'm not sure if he recognized her, but he definitely saw something. He tells Jefferson, well, we lost the truck, so you should call it a night. And Jefferson says, well, I'm going to go back to the warehouse. Gamby picks up his gun, and he looks like he's about to go um, to where that disturbance was. And so he's going over there checking out the scene, and he starts taking pictures and stuff because he's like, this is uh, abnormal, like, he didn't know what exactly happened, but he saw it on the cameras, like what she did, I think. Grace wakes up in Anessa's lap and she asks the question, like, if I have the ability to stop bad people, wouldn't that be a good thing or shouldn't I do that? And she's like, yeah, looking around because I think her um, head was hurt. And she's like, yeah, you should. The next thing we see is Tobias and his sister and they're watching the news and the um, news person is talking about Khalil and how he was going to go to the Olympics, but now he's not going to go. And um, his sister says, well, you should use that as an opportunity to uh, take out Black Lightning. Because Tobias says, well, I can't be seen in Freeland because of what happened with his political career and how everything went down. And so she says, well, um, the people of Freeland would take him out for you if they consider him a bad guy. You just have to paint the picture for them. And you should start with the boy Khalil because everybody thought he was going to go to the Olympics, blah, 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 right? Um, the next scene is Jennifer at the hospital visiting Khalil and Khalil asks her, why are you here so early? I guess it's before school starts. And she says, well, my dad um, was coming anyway, so I decided to tag along. So in comes um, Khalil's mom, the doctor, and Jefferson. And he has some notes and he's like, trying to find the words I guess to tell him that um his spinal cord has been completely severed and then Khalil says so what are you saying I'm not gonna be able to walk again and they all kind of like look away Khalil looks down or whatever we see Jefferson at school and the vice principal comes in and says that the board called and they said that he can save Bernard but he will have to give up I guess his right to decide who gets expelled and who doesn't um, his final say on who gets expelled and who doesn't. And she's like, well, you can save Bernard or you can have your final say, but you can't have both. You'll still get um, a vote in the final say, but it only count as one um, as a part of the board. Of course, he decides to save Bernard. And I think he gives a call to um, his wife. And he's basically telling her, like, you know, it's it's getting harder to deal with all the collateral damage, Khalil. Um, is really not sitting right with him and then Reverend Holt got shot but you know Khalil not being able to walk again has really been bothering him and he's trying to like not pour out his feelings but just tell her how he's feeling about the situation and she just blows him off and says you know can I call you back later and he's like yeah okay so then he gets a call from Bernard's father and Bernard's father tells him that his son came back to the house and he kept talking about green light and how he wanted some more of it so he went to a dope house he followed his son to the dope house. The 100 were here and they pistol whipped him. And he was like, I didn't know who else to call. So he's like, well, let me um, call a few people and then uh, I'll call you back. And so he um, suits up as Black Lightning. He goes to wherever they're at. He beats up basically all the people in there. And he comes in there and he saves Bernard. Then we see a scene where Bernard's father is in the office with Jefferson and he's saying that you know I appreciate you going in there to get Bernard and I don't know what happened like where I went wrong 
and um, Jefferson says it's okay. We're going to get Bernard on the right track. He's in the best treatment facility right now. And the, the important thing is that he gets the help that he needs and we get him in college. And then he stands, Bernard's father stands up and shakes his hand and says, thank you, you know, for all that you've done. Then we see Jefferson receives a voicemail from Lynn. And Lynn is telling him that she's pretty much scared of all the stuff that's going on in the community as well. I don't want to say she was pushing him away, but she just, I guess, wanted to apologize. Like, you know, I'm scared and I love you so much. And um, she just doesn't want to lose him. We see Tobias go visit Khalil in his hospital room. He tells Khalil that he should be mad at Black Lightning because Black Lightning is the reason that he's here because he didn't get the help that he needed when he needed it. And he says there were many times when he was a child that I guess he needed help from Black Lightning and Black Lightning was nowhere to be found. And then he says the pain that you have, you know, I can show you how to um, make it so that it's not even noticeable. And do you want me to help you with that? And then Khalil was asking him about all the gifts and stuff. And he's like, I followed your career and this really hurt me personally. You know, it's all lies or whatever. And then Khalil's like, just looking like trying to make a decision. Like, should I be mad at Black Lightning? He really doesn't know. And so that's pretty much the end of that episode, I believe. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, y'all let me know in the comments below. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.